What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're taking a look at a new game called Path of Skill Trees. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to a new PoE video. So today we're taking a look at the Atlas Skill Trees and I have three variants that I want to share with you that I think might help you in your League Starter and just basically helping get the things started for you in the first few weeks of um, of the new path of exile league so without further ado let's break right in ah boys so let's get right into this uh the reason why i wanted to make a video on the atlas uh, skill tree is quite simple i feel like poe has gotten even harder for uh new players some people say that it's easier and maybe the new atlas without having the regions and you know all of those watchstones maybe it's a little bit easier right now easier to get into I don't, I don't feel it i feel like legit if you do not have the basis the canvas of your atlas skill tree you are going to brick your run if you have a new character get the gets to map in a league starter or whatever um, and you don't get the right points, you might get to a certain um, degree of just breaking your atlas and not being able to progress, or you will be able to progress, but it will really, really, really small baby steps. I'm pretty sure that GGG won't allow the game to get to such a state that if you don't have the right uh, points on your atlas, then you are going to brick your game. No, I, I honestly don't think it's gonna get to that but you are going to be substantially disadvantaged compared to the people that do have the right um, skill tree passives and the first one then i want to show you uh it's the canvas everybody has been talking it uh, grimro made um, a video explaining this pretty nicely uh the canvas of what you kind of need and of course uh it's not exactly like his i've expanded and done something different with my chat we were brainstorming uh yesterday and i got the three variants that i uh, want to share with you today and um this would be the perfect one regardless of what you play regardless of what um you know you want to go for if you're going to go for bossing if you want to go for um, you know juicing and all that this is like your first week first two weeks maybe of the league the best thing that you could do to maximize the currency that you can get the options and just making sure you're not at disadvantage compared to other people now of course the league hasn't started yet and there is no definitive oh my god you need to have this skill tree this is going to produce the most currency i'm pretty sure everybody's brainstorming out there path of math grim roses everyone uh, all the big streamers have a way of you know uh passing along the information and they do have a lot of information and i think that they do have also the skills and the knowledge about poe to present these to you in in a way that makes you understand okay well this is going to be good and then you actually see it in the league itself that they're producing a lot of currency i honestly think that there is no such thing as a wrong way to build your skill tree in the sense that what you like doing in the game if you're gonna do it if you're going to invest so let's say you like doing alva you like doing incursion you like doing syndicate whichever one of these you do if you have a base canvas of a good atlas skill and three um, atlas skill tree and then you branch out to these nodes and you take them that increases the efficiency of that league mechanic that you want to do maybe heist maybe delve maybe whatever you are going to have first of all fun because you want to play something that's fun to you and second of all you are going to um, get a lot of investment return you're going to get the currency let's just uh start explaining the skill tree for the people that are interested and want to know more if you're not and you just want to get the link well it's going to be in the description down below for all three of them you can skip you can uh, pause the video whatever you want to do so again this is uh the canvas you really want to make a beeline up here map drops have uh, a chance to be one tier higher and then you have shaping of mountains and shaping of the skies so all of these like two percent chance connected map to drop connected map to drop and then we have these two here left and right with dra uh, drops map drops in the area five percent chance to be one tier higher that's 10 <clears throat> that's uh 25 and then another 10 
here another 15 that's 25 so this is 50 percent already you know when you have a, a drop you have a 50 percent chance of it dropping higher and then we go through the kirak nodes here four percent chance <clears throat> we have um what is this five that's another 20 so that's uh, 70 percent and then 15 with 15 that is 100 percent so if you have shaping of valleys shaping of the seas shaping of the mountains and shaping of the skies all of these combined with the small ones in between you will get a nice and crisp 100 percent chance to drop one tier higher now this is not mandatory but if you want to progress your atlas nicely it's what you want to go for for maximum efficiency right um, after you have this your atlas is set for map draws right you have a chance for them to drop higher tier then you move into twice tempted additional strong box this is i think one of the nicest nodes that you can have regardless what you do if you do bossing you don't care for this right you don't care necessarily about the map you just care about getting to the boss and killing the boss but if you do anything else that involves your map clearing out your map area containing an additional strong box is the best thing that you could do it just it adds so much mobs to the table that this is guaranteed one of the best nodes that you can get in your atlas passive now <clears throat> of course essence an additional essence especially in the first two two weeks maybe three weeks of the league i think a lot of people are going to go for these uh the essences and it's easy to understand why it's quite um a bonus a boost to people that use these so you have prolific essence here and then you have amplified energies a tier higher on your essence and then you have an additional monsters imprisoned by the shrieking essence will duplicate when released corrupting imprisonment monsters and i cannot release them yada 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 so all of these um essence nodes are just beautiful and you need them if you want to have that edge or you, better said if you don't want to lose to other people they are going to have this edge um yeah let's uh let's go into spoils of war so you have rare <clears throat> rare monster in area are duplicated rare monsters have a one percent chance to drop additional basic currency five percent to drop additional rare, rare jewelry item eh, it's just four points it's a nice investment it doesn't hurt then you have area uh, contains an additional shrine the shrine nodes here and with ominous arrival harbinger harbinger are going to be really good um, additional harbingers here and the harbinger node in uh, in the middle here with these quantity nodes these are going to be really good especially if you juice uh, we already talked about the essence all of these are for the strong boxes so if you're gonna find strong boxes might as well just maximize the impact that these uh, strong boxes are going to have. So, hold up, I uh, zoomed a little bit too much. You have Vault of Mysteries, Divinations, uh, map items, right? And then uh, Currency. So you have the Arcanist, you have the Cartographers, and the Diviners. It's just an, a nice thing to have. It's, again, it's just an extra edge, right? And um, yeah. Then you have the Kirak nodes. Everybody's gonna be taking the Kirak nodes. Additional essences over here. I really, really like um, the strong boxes, so I took this one as well with uh, the six percent chance to have scarabs. It's not gonna happen all the time, but if you open, you know, a hundred of them, six of them are going to be with um, with scarabs, and it's just an additional influx of currency that you can have. Then I would like to go into these unique nodes, unique exile nodes. So uh, unique bosses have 20% chance to be accompanied, uh, accompanied by two uh, rogue exile bodyguards and then you have additional chance to drop currency items with the middle ones, 100% chance to be possessed by tormented spirit and a chance to contain 20 rogue exiles. Um, it's just, it's gonna be a good amount of fun. It's gonna be challenging, but it's also gonna produce so much currency early on combined with everything else that i think this is 
for you know 24 points remaining so you don't even need to go into endgame bosses you just kind of need to get close to finishing your atlas and you'll just be gucci again don't forget you first need to get the shapings all four shapings to make sure that your your maps are dropping a tier higher and then go into whichever one you want if you like you know as i feel like essence and strongbox are necessary these are the things that you want to go for um then your harbingers right your harbingers and then you take you fill in everything else that you want from uh from this skill tree now moving on to something that's a little bit more niche 20 points remaining so nothing too complicated it's it has the the canvas that we discussed a little bit earlier it's going to have the strong boxes it's going to have the map tiers it's going to have the spoils of war with the rare monsters uh again strong boxes here we kind of just took out essences um the harbingers we took out a few of the things here as well you don't need really need that rarity uh it could be nice so if you have more points let's say that you can either go for essences and you get these middle points right here or you can go for harbingers but um i think that if you take the harbinger ones you're gonna want to get the the area has so if you have the points you might go for the area has a harbinger then go into harbingers have a chance to be replaced by a powerful hamburger harbinger and then you go here it's still 18 points it's very doable but this is kind of like a bonus i don't think you want to focus on that um this one focuses on blight because i really enjoy blight i think it's a cool mechanic um again we removed the essence we've removed the harbingers and then we went into blight spawn um the spores of the wind epidemiology um mycelian swarm and these two immune response and distilled fungus these are all with chances to get uh blighted maps or oils this is for the extractor which is going to be pretty nice it's going to be rng you don't get to choose which one you extract which oils, but it's going to be super cool in, in the long run uh the fastest spawn non-unique monsters uh, 20 percent chance to contain an additional blight encounter so you can have two blights in your maps uh blight chests have 80 percent more chance to contain blighted maps so you know combined with blighted maps or oils that is a huge chance to get your maps and the thing is it's going to be super worth at the beginning because you are going to find a lot of those um they're not going to have all uh all the options they're not going to the more chest you have the less likely you are to find blighted oils and maps and the fact is in lower maps you don't have that many branches so that kind of guarantees that you're going to find all of the maps that if that makes sense so it's, it's just really nice to go for it early on maps found in area three percent chance to contain a blight encounter it's just really nice um thing to have especially because what you're really going for is the small nodes um the chance of uh, blight chest in area are uh, lucky variety of items contained in one blight chest in area are lucky and then you have <clears> the <throat> five percent chance for an additional reward a total of 20 with these four nodes and the oils found in area 25 percent chance being uh, one tier higher now if anyone has played a league to its extent and really played around with you know that oils are really expensive at the beginning so getting this early on i think like this is not that much of an investment again you still have the basic that you need for your atlas progression right you have the the shaping you have some strong boxes if you don't want to get the strong boxes take off the strong boxes you can go all the way up here so drop this drop this you can drop the strong boxes drop this in the middle if you like the essence and the harbinger go for essence and the harbinger it doesn't matter which one you choose at the end of the day it's like the notes for the blights are really nice i think this is this is a money maker in the long run especially um at the beginning the more you have the more you contain the market the more maps you sell the more maps you find you know maybe you can find yourself some, some buyers and all that um you can actually keep the maps and sell them in bulk later a lot of people look for bulk selling it doesn't matter you know the the tier of the map itself so yeah i really think that this is going to be really good again links are going to be in the description to this um down below all right and the last one that i want to showcase 
is I would call it the more complicated one. This is for you juicers out there. If you like the juice, this is the, the skill tree that you want to use. Um, it basically has everything you need for quantity quality, extra mobs. So basically it has the things that you would expect, right? It still has sort of like the base canvas. You don't really need the Kirak ones anymore. You can, you know, save some points if you do this, maybe. And, uh, you know, you don't care about them anymore. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You can play around with it and see which one is uh, is a bit of worth. By this point, if you're juicing, you already have the currency. Uh, so you're not, you know, just starting. And uh, it's still, it's 23 uh, points left. It's nothing too, too crazy. Um, so yeah. Of course, you have the shaping to have that map pool to sustain. You have the Harbingers, which are a, a given, one of the best. You have the Rogue Exiles with the Royal Guard. You have the map boss, chance to be surrounded by Tormented Spirit, quantity of items dropped by possessed monsters in the area. So you have all these nice, fat, juicy nodes with quantity of items. Uh, rare monsters with the uh, possession and all that um, again royal guard we discussed about that um, the exiles the extra rarity and quantity in the middle here again the harbingers and then if you add that on top of uh, the incursion which incursion has really nice mods increased quantity of item drops and key increased quantity there's a lot of quantity and then 60% chance to drop an additional rare incursion item area uh, incursion in the area contains of all flesh merchant Then you have rare from the beyond rare demons have a 25% chance to drop an additional basic currency uh, Increase quantity increase quantity increase quantity and then you have over here uh, The experience which is just gonna be pretty nice slaying enemies has 3% chance to attract monsters from beyond in the long run it's not going to be you know the biggest difference in the world but this is going to be really good so yeah this is basically omega juice of course couple that with what we're going to be uh, able to roll on our watch stones or whatever void stones i think they're called now this is again just a small canvas of what you could do maybe someone finds and i'm pretty sure the atlas uh, passives are going to change in the long run we're going to see which ones are worth more but from a theory crafting standpoint i think this is the best thing to do to get you know your full potential from the juice so it's beyond harbinger incursion exiles sextants maybe it's up here you could go for it if we get there so this is unique map uh map bosses have one percent chance to drop an additional map currency items all the way up to sexton modifier have one additional use i think this is going to be mandatory at one point especially when you're going to have like the really good mods and um yeah it's still 12 points left remaining again maybe you want to drop some things that are not as important anymore for example the sh um Wait, the shrines, we don't have the shrines. The strong boxes, right? This node with the strong box, but I think the amount of mobs you're gonna get from the additional strong boxes is just gonna be too good to not have in a juice map. But anyways, boys, um, that's about it. These are the three uh, Atlas skill trees that I've come up with. I'm gonna have links to this in the description down below. If you wanna use them, feel free. And yeah, I'll see you on Friday and we're going to take a look at the new league and um, hopefully have some fun. Get you on the brick side.